Hey everybody, welcome to our vlog. We really want to continue and vlog in and do this on a weekly basis for you. And today we're gonna to start with something that we all love, which is Nara. For all of those who don't know, Nara stands for non-allergen rodent tractant. And it was made for all purposes in foodstuffs and hygiene areas where you were fighting issues with toxics that you weren't allowed to, to use internal or external. And if you were struggling with the mold or insects nibbling on your bait blocks, if it's non-toxic or toxic, you were probably one of the users that wanted to use Inara as well. And one of the biggest important facts of Nara is that it's allergen free. So it comes completely without allergens. And this is one of the reasons why it's applicable for foodstuffs, any food site for any standard like IFS, BRC, and all the other big standards in pharma and food manufacturing process. So we were driven to make Nara basically by what we found in the practice, which we didn't think was perfect yet. If you look at these images, and if you're a hands-on professional and doing pest control, I think you're familiar with that. And I know you don't like that and you want a solution. If you're doing a lot of toxic or non-toxic monitoring, especially with toxic, we're talking a lot about secondary poisoning. However, primary poisoning, as you see here, is a huge, huge topic and it's not to be underestimated. Uh, jump over to the next slide because that shows you that below 20% of all the rodents nibbling on our bait, our toxic bait, that's a PBT substance, I'm gonna explain that in another vlog, um, is, is gonna be consumed by not your target animal, not your rat, not your mouse that you try and get. Okay, it's mainly consumed by, uh, let's say, protected mice, like field in some countries protected, like field mice, slugs and snails. You know, all of these won't die when they eat toxics, but they will wander off into the wilderness and some other rodent or predator vertebrate will eat it and then consume the poisonous bait and maybe it will harm their immune system or it will kill them eventually. But in the end, these poisons are gonna stay in the environment. So again, to underline, Topic today is NARA, and NARA is a non-toxic monitor. All right, follow me through. Um, over here we got our NARA products. As you see, we're having a lot of more NARA products next to NARA block. But the classic NARA block itself is made of a synthetic plastic material. It's a high-tech product where the uh, aroma is being inserted into the mold during production, which is a quite an uh, intensive process. It now feels like a gummy bear, and it smells delicious. We have five different scents you'll find on the container of the product. It's right here. You have the vanilla aroma, that's our classic. It's always been there since around seven years. Then we got our new meat aroma, which smells a little bit like, I wanna say beef jerky or barbecue chips, basically. We have fish, which a lot of you hate. I know, we people hate it. It smells like super bad fish, but it's, uh, if you know, if you're a pest control hands-on technician, you know that rats especially, and also mice, love fish. So if you're having a big rat issue, fish is still our best seller, and you wanna ask our partners, it's an amazing product. It will help you with a lot of your rat infestations. The next in line, and one of our newest products, is Nara Block in Mango, or it's, it's a fruity aroma, which we elaborated basically because of the demand of the US American market in which we have roof rats. And roof rats are vegetarians, and people uh, like to bait them a lot with mango or other tropical fruits. So this is why we did that, selling that really successfully in the US American market. And last but not least, it's our Nara Block in lower range in chocolate nut. Chocolate nut, it smells like if you ask me, it's 100% Nutella, what I eat at, at my weekends away, and uh, yeah, it's super delicious. It's actual food-grade aromas. That means that this product smells exactly like the food, because in some of the cases, these aromas are actually used for food. So a rodent cannot differentiate, is that actual cheese? Is that actual Nutella? Is that a Nara product? So they will approach it. We'll show some videos in this vlog right now of rodents nibbling on the Nara block, because what it is made for is that you have a hygienic, long-lasting monitoring product. So rodents will approach that block, you can uh, put it on a cable tie or on one of these metal sticks you can find in bait boxes, or you can even tie it to some uh, cable ties outdoors for just monitoring in wildlife areas, like wildlife parks in New Zealand where they did that. And rodents will nibble on the very soft plastic material and leave bite marks. 
So when you discover a rodent block and a narrow block after a while, you can really differentiate whether you had a rat or a mouse issue. I will show you right here some of the examples. I don't know if you see that one. That was actually a rat. You can see that by the big bite marks. And on this old narrow block right here, you just see small nibblings on that corner side, which indicates that it's been a mice, probably house mouse. And yeah, thanks to this indicator that you have with a narrow block, you know, you can place a trap, you can seal the building, you can do some hygiene measurements, you can use poison if it's allowed in that area. And all of these steps come afterwards after you did all the monitoring. So we believe, and we're a big fighter for monitoring first, detection, survey, monitoring, step one, always step one, and then you can go on to trapping, sealing, proofing works, and all of that matter in nature. Okay, so that's our approach. Narrow block for us stands for highest quality made in Germany. It lasts three months, is the minimum, absolute minimum. But I know according to our partners that they reach or exchange their narrow blocks for new narrow blocks every six to 12 months. And I've even heard stories of people still catching mice or mice and rodents or rats nibbling on the narrow blocks even after 12 months. So it's super durable and robust. It goes from minus 20 to plus 60 degrees in you know, every scenario around the world, in and outdoors. It's super robust, German extra tough. <laughs> so I hope you guys like it. That's my quick summary of narrow block. There's a lot of different fields for using it in food sites, farmer sites, private, indoor and outdoor. If you want them, give us a shout. We'll organize contact to your nearest distributor or send you a sample for testing. Thanks very much and see you in the next episode.